The next step is to create a sprite for the player. So uh, for this tutorial, what I would recommend that you do is not to use the built-in sprites. You can choose a sprite and uh, you can choose one of these. But uh, for the purpose of this, I think it'd be better uh, for you to try drawing your own to get used to doing something simple like that. So what I'm going to do is come down to the uh, choose a sprite. I'm going to click on the little paintbrush here to have a new sprite. And uh, there's a couple of things we need to do here. First of all, let's name this new sprite. So we're going to call this player like that. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is uh, convert to bitmap again, and I'm going to click on the circle tool. Uh, I'm going to, uh, let's say, I'm going to have uh, a yellow circle for this one. So just like that, perhaps. Uh, let's draw a circle like this. Then I'm going to change over to black, and I'm going to draw another circle like that. And then I'm going to change over to white. So bring the brightness up and the saturation right down. That gives us white. Draw another little circle there. And uh, then what I'm going to do is move that circle into the black circle like that. There we go. Then use my select tool to select all of that. Copy it and paste it. Move that eye over there, then use the selection tool again and move both eyes down onto the player. And then finally, let's draw a smile. So I'll bring the brightness down so that gives me a nice black line. Uh, I'll draw that smile or just not even a smile, just a bit of a, a huh face. There we go. Move that down to there. And there we go. So I've now created the simple sprite for the player. So just use a, a few simple basic shapes. Don't overcomplicate it. Keep it simple. Again, um, like with the platform, you can always change things later on. The most important thing is to have something to play with. It doesn't really matter what it is to begin with, just something. But there is one other very, very important thing. I'm just going to use my selection box to select all of that and so just move it out of the way for a moment because some people do end up drawing their sprite way off into the corner of this window. And that doesn't appear to be a problem. After all, you can still move it around and place it where you want. The problem is, though, that when it comes to moving and detecting collisions and rotating and all sorts of other things later on, the fact that the sprite is so far up in the top right corner will cause problems. Now, if you look closely, there seems to be a little splodge or mark on your monitor in the middle of this window. And it's not. If I zoom in on that, you can see it is, in fact, a target and more specifically, a center target. It targets the center of your sprite. In other words, the middle of my player sprite is not there where its nose would be, but here, which makes all sorts of things really, really difficult later on. So once you've drawn your sprite, select the whole sprite, decide where the middle of the sprite is. And if you're using a circle, that's fairly easy to identify. And make sure that you drag the sprite so the middle, in other words, where I've got my mouse right now, is directly over that little target in the middle of your sprite, or as close as you can possibly get to it. So there we are. That's about now uh, centered in that window. So that's looking fine. The sprite itself is obviously far too big. So the next thing to do is to resize it. Now, that used to be quite a fiddly uh, process in the old Scratch, but uh, this new version of Scratch, um, at least it's new uh, at the time I'm recording this, makes it much, much easier to resize sprites because you've got this size measurement down here. 100 is the 100%. In other words, it is 100% the size that it is. It's the same size as the drawing over here. If I want to make that half the size, I can type 50 in there and that will halve my sprite. Still looks a little bit too big to me, so I'm gonna bring that down to about 25, and I think about 25 looks good. Now, you might be looking at that thinking, that is just far too small. But what you have to remember is that most people play these scratch games in full screen, 
And if I switch over to full screen, that looks a perfectly decent size uh, sprite. There's no problem with that at all. So I've created the sprite, I've named it player, I've resized it, and I've now positioned it where I want the player to begin. Now, again, it's really important that you don't position your player inside or partly inside the platform. Here you can see that player is overlapping the edge. Uh, again, down here, it's overlapping the bottom. It's really important it's not touching the platform. The code we're going to use later on will cause real problems if it is. So what I tend to do is position it not only well away from the walls, but also quite a long distance above the ground. That means when we start running the game later on, it will drop to the ground, but that's absolutely fine. And in fact, it just helps the player to realize where they are. So there we are. Draw, name, position, and resize your player sprite. And then when you're ready, we'll start looking at the code we need to be able to move your player left and right.